Hello everyone, today we will be factoring algebra tiles. In this video, I gave you the quadratic expressions and our task is to determine its factored form. Again, we will be using the area as a sum and area as a product. So in this problem right here, we uh, if, uh, in the other video, I mentioned that this is actually the area as a sum. So what I have here, are these tiles that uh, we have one x squared tile. So I got one x squared tile over there. I got um, four x's. So I got four x's that corresponds to that. And then I got three uh, ones here. So again, I got one x squared, four x's and three ones. Our task today is to come up with a rectangle. We remember that um, to find the area of a rectangle, it's going to be fast because you just have to multiply the length and the width. So our target is to create a rectangle out of these tiles. Now I'll give you a trick. The easiest way or the first thing that we are going to do is to take the x squared first. You put it on the lower left side. So that's the x squared. Every time, take the x squared and put it in the lower lower left side. Now move to, I mean, now we, we are going to grow the tiles to the left and up, I mean to the right and up. So in here, I can put the x over here. You can give it a lot of try. You can try it out and see how it works. So we got here this, um, this you, you can do that. Um, the other way that we can do this is we can, you can give it a try until you get the, uh, the, the correct uh, combination. So I, I'll, I'll do it this way. So I put the X's here and then this other X there on top. And then I'll put the ones on top of each of these. So as you can see, we are able to form a rectangle. So this is the rectangle right now. Other combinations may not work because others are going to say, oh, what about if I put the X over here? Is it going to work and put all the three here? It may not work because you, you, this is not a, a, a good rectangle because there's like a spot in here. So th this is the uh, rectangle that we're looking at. So this is the, uh, the arrangement that we wanted. So in this case right here, we can see that we can... Um, Using the area as a sum, so we have x squared, 4x's, and then we got a 3 here. We can see that if we label the sides here, this is a 1, this is an x. Now others are going to say, how, how did you get an x as a label for the side here? How did, how did you know that it's 1? Again, there's another video on how to label the, uh, the sides of the algebra tile. Um, I will put the uh, link of those videos in the description box below. And then down here at the bottom, this is x. And this is 1, 1, and 1. So that means our factored form is the length and the width. You multiply the width and the length. So the width is x plus 1. And then the uh, length is x plus 3. And that is x plus 3. If we are going to use the FOIL method for this, it will go back to its general form. Now let's move on to the second example. By the way, you will see on the side uh, an online version of what we're doing. So you will see how it works with your app on the phone. So you can do you can do it on the actual algebra tiles, or you can do it also with with the app with the applet on the phone. Okay, so we have here. The second example, that's x squared plus 6x plus 8. So I have 1x squared, and then I have 6x's, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then I have 8 ones, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now again, the trick to this is to put the x squared on the lower left. So I put that over here. Now I am going to arrange the x's next to the x squared tile. So I'll take this one right here. And then I can have uh, you can you can try it um, any way you want, you can give it a try. But again, that our target is to come up with a rectangle. So let's say I'm going to take that and I'll take this other x on top over here, and this other x on top here, and then I'll take the ones here. Um, at the beginning, you need to like uh, try a couple of times 
to come up with uh, how to come up with a rectangle but um, when you are used to it you should be able to come up with a rectangle that quick so it just needs practice but the thing is be sure that we are able to create a rectangle so that that is our target so we can come up with the area as a product so in this problem right here i have already um set up the this is already a rectangle so again that's x squared one x squared i got six x's one two three four five six and that's it this is the area as a sum now to get the area as a product i'm gonna label the sides here this is x this is one this is one and this is x this is one 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 and one so then our factored form for this general form right here is x and then there are two here so that would be x plus two and then x here and then there are four so x plus four again if you use the foil method for this you should be able to come up with this general form at this time i would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own you can either use the applet or the online manipulative or you can use the uh, 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 tiles that you have on your table when you're done and pause it and check your answer Okay, so let's go over this. So I have prepared the uh, the tiles here. So there's one X squared, there are seven X's. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there are 12 ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 ones. Okay, again, our target is to create a rectangle out of these tiles here. So first, again, the first trick is to have the X squared on the lower left of the rectangle and then grow from there so that would be i'll take another i'll take one x over here and then i'll take another x here and then take some few more x again our target is to create a rectangle you can try a couple of times on this one you can um you, you can try it out to come up with a, a rectangle but in here this is the shape of the rectangle that we wanted. Okay, so let's see how it's gonna work. So that should go over there. And um, and you can also see on the side, the um, the app, the applet on Algebra Tiles, which is online, and you can use that, or you can use the um, an actual Algebra Tiles. You can also make a makeshift Algebra Tiles, just like what I did. So let's see what is the factored form for x squared plus 7x plus 12. So I'm going to put that over there and then put this up here. And that completes the rectangle right there. So therefore, I can say that the factored form for this is I need to write the width and the length of this rectangle. So this is x. This is 1, 1, and 1. This is x, 1, 1, 1, and 1. So then the factored form for this is x plus 3. Because you have an x, 1, 2, 3. And then the length is x plus 4. Because you have an x, 1, 2, 3, 4. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!